Okay, so this was the first shot uh, with 22 short. You can see I hit it right there. And uh, my top plate armor looks like it mostly did its job because the uh, the spalling actually, oh, let me zoom out here. Uh, the spalling was stopped from entering the turret ring by that uh, cross plate right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, did knock this off, however. This was right here. Now I was expecting that because it's only uh, only held on with super glue. Um, most of the other parts are bolted in. But uh, yeah. Oh, I just realized Mr. Guy is missing. Where is Mr. Guy? Uh, well, I'll get back to you when I find him. He's probably right in front of me. Uh, actually, speaking of which, this camo made him blend in. Uh, that's one leg, and that's the second leg. That may be where it exited. No, actually, that was there earlier. I remember that. Um, so, torso. So, after reviewing the tape, um, I, found, I finally found Mr. Guy, or Commander, whatever you want to call him. Um, so, leg one. Leg two, this little back seat's broken, so I think some, uh, uh, look right there. Something obviously came through. What I also noticed is I had a, another metal plate attached right here, and that's actually wedged here in the turret ring. See if I can turn this. There it is. Oh yeah, so that got hit pretty hard too. Keep in mind, these are 22 shorts. So that's impressive. That's what was there. And uh, I guess the rest here must have gone actually up through the turret ring there. It's hard for me to see. You get a better angle on the camera here. But uh, yeah, some shrapnel went through the turret ring um, and then came up through his chair right there, and he had a very bad day. Anyway, I found most of the rest of him. If we look where we are here, and move over this way. Uh, it's right around here, ah, there it is. So you can see we're about, I'm gonna say nine feet, 10 feet away. There's an arm, and there is his torso. So yeah, not looking too good. And actually you can see, oh no, so those are screw holes by the way, those aren't even, uh, those are not bullet holes. But I actually made him a little plate armor vest. And, oh, that's a bullet. Yeah, it didn't, uh, I, no, I obviously didn't expect it to stop a bullet, but, you know, I thought it might help. If anything, I think it helped uh, launch him <laughs> even further. Um, don't know if I'll ever find that vest, but I'll, I'll keep you updated if I do. So yeah, as of now, that's the only uh, parts I was able to find of our commander there. Um, I forgot to mention too, so I had two of these identical guys. This guy outside the tank had uh, that little plate armor I made. The other guy, I actually opened the tank and uh, glued inside. Well, actually screwed him in, so he's in there almost in the driver slash gunner position. And um, yeah, so that's that's also what this plate armor is stopping. Uh, at the very end, after I'm done shooting it, I'm gonna check on him as well. But uh, on to shot number two. Okay, so shot number two. Already some pieces of plastic. Uh, these two plates came off again, as expected. Both uh, just glued on, so yeah. Move these back up. I believe that I hit in the same spot. Um, actually, you know what? 
Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I think the same thing happened. Yeah, it looks like, because that looks more damaged than before. So, yeah, that would make sense. And it shot uh, some, some shrapnel here through the top once again. So it kind of looks like Mr. Commander was dead to begin with, unfortunately. Um, I could have put more reinforcement to block the uh, ricochet into the turret ring. I tried a little bit. There's actually more in there than it looks like. Um, but problem being, you can only put so much before you're blocking the turret rotation and uh, gun elevation and depression. So, you know, working with what I got. Um, anyway, turret's a little bit damaged. Um, nothing down there yet. I'm going to try to aim a little bit lower, see if I can hit on this plate. So yeah, moving on. Okay, so shot number three. Uh, plastic. That was a little clear-ish lens that I had set up right here as like a uh, optic. So this one, I just placed that back on too. So, you know, that did, hell, it missed that actually. So this time it hit right there. Pretty nasty damage. Uh, you can also see one of the uh, stainless steel rods I put in across here for reinforcement. Um, that deflected up under this, of course. <laughs> These are actually pretty thick metal, um, you know, comparing to not having armor like this. And I'm willing to bet that all of the cheek armor that was like that is pushed inside, and I think most of it. Uh, oh, yeah. So that kind of did its job. But, you know, what it's attached to is only plastic, so I wonder how the uh, guy inside's doing. I mean, he's right, he's right in the middle. Let me focus this. Right in the middle here. Right behind this plate. So until this is, uh, um, got holes poked in it, he's, he's probably okay. So uh, one other thing here, too. You can see it obviously went in through here, but it did not come out. So that definitely means that, uh, I'm getting the proper lighting, the cheek armor here did most of its job. Okay, so shot number four, I think. Uh, this is thrown, of course. It's actually separated, too. That was kind of a composite of two different materials. We have... Uh, looks like... Ah, yes. That was mounted up here. Um, there's a lot of splash damage on this one. I got more pieces of metal. Keep picking these things up. Oh yeah, there's some cheek armor. Shit. So yeah, that one was a pretty, pretty solid hit. Uh, let's just, oh shit, yeah, look. Tore that, so that was a direct hit to the cheek. Now, let's keep in mind that this is all attached to a plastic turret. So the metal plates did their job in stopping most of the inertia. Uh, obviously it was pretty bad for the turret, but it is plastic after all. Yeah, I can't get that out. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty bad hole. 
Okay, so for shot number five, I actually used a uh, standard velocity uh, CCI, 22 of course, and that's where it hit. So, um, I do have a couple layers of armor behind there. Uh, I got sunglasses on too, so it's hard for me to see. That looks like it may have gone through. So I uh, took a, another look and see if I can see that. There, there we go. Uh, that's daylight coming out the back. Also, can't really see Mr. Driver, so I'm gonna assume the worst. I'll show you the exit. So went through all of those plates. There's actually about three layers of plates there, and uh, came out here. You can see the hole there. If we can shine the light in, uh, probably not. Anyway, so yeah, not not too fun. So I think I'm just gonna hit it with the AR a couple times now. You can kind of already see what's done to it, so, I mean, we know what's going to happen, but this shit's fun, so why the hell not? Yeah, so that's about what I expected. Some pretty nasty holes here and there. Uh, I think I'll hit it a couple more times. And actually, before I do that, um, just realized something. Found this behind the uh, stand here. So this plate was actually under. Uh, you can see where this hole right here, where that bullet hit. So this was like that. And it actually shot it out under the tank. Through the back here, you can see some exit holes. Uh, through there somewhere, that might have been one of the rounds actually. And I found it right over there. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Oh yeah, so that one was definitely the worst yet. Um, well, I mean, you can see it's obviously removed it. I had the tank stapled to that for uh, stability, and I mean, shit, it looked like, a, looked like an ID went off. Uh, now we can at least check the driver. Okay, that was behind the lower glacis, as well as like three other plates. So that's impressive. Uh, oh, I see a foot. All right, I did, I did uh, screw him to the body. All right, he's upside down, but you can get an idea. He looks to be mostly intact. Actually, completely intact. I see a bullet jacket down there. So, I mean, the armor worked. He's not missing any legs. Wow. Interesting. Well, let's hit it again. Oh wow, look at that. Jeez. 556 doesn't play around. So you can kind of see what that... Oh my god. Wow, look at that. Well, barrel's gone. This plate is not having a good time. Holy shit. Okay. Well, let's keep going. So, uh, as you can see, the parts are starting to add up. Um, I'm obviously going to clean up as much as I can once I'm done. 
Um, I decided to take out our driver. I think he's served enough of his country. <laughs> so you can see what I mounted him to, just a little piece of a uh, tin. So uh, yeah, congratulations, your armor worked, Mr. Tank Driver. Well, uh, I think that's about enough for today. So what we've learned is if you're going to make a tank, do not make it out of plastic. <laughs> I'm sure you already knew that. This was a pretty cool experience, nonetheless. That's what's left of the turret. Oh God, not looking too good. Hmm. Front plate, spaced armor, something. Oh, exhaust pipe, so that was the back of the tank. So yeah, well, that was fun.